What's up everyone? It's Patrick at Trick9 Fitness and today I'm going to talk to you about the very, very basics of the TRX. You've perhaps just purchased one, you just acquired one, you've just encountered one. What do you do? I'm not going to show you any exercises. I'm going to, I'm going to hint at them, but I'm just going to show you the very basics of, you know, from when you've just unboxed the TRX, you have these pieces. What do you do? Now, I've already unboxed my TRX. I, I have a couple of them. I've got the, the big pro model installed in the studio. I've got the TRX Go, which um, as of filming this is unavailable on the TRX website. I think it's still available on Amazon at this time. Um, but you know, they have various models. They're all basically the same, different colors, different thicknesses of straps for heavy, you know, more heavy duty uh, frequency of use, but they're all basically the same. So. Without further ado, introducing my TRX Go. It's uh, all in here, everything I need to do uh, pretty much any TRX workout I want to do, as long as I have an adequate spot to anchor it. Now, if you have a home with a doorway, or maybe two doorways, or you know, multiple doorways, hopefully you have a decent spot to, an to anchor the, the TRX because. Um, it comes with a doorway anchor. So that's where we're going to start. We've got our doorway anchor. Also in your TRX package, you'll have the TRX. Here's what mine looks like. We'll get into this uh, in a second. Well, actually, let's go over it right now. So we've got our doorway anchor and then we've got the main TRX, which looks like this. We've got a clip, your locking loop, the straps, the handles and the foot cradles. That's the basics. And then you may be wondering, what is this other thing? This extra strap, perhaps yours looks a little different, but um, it's gonna have the same basic features, like some kind of loop of fabric or um, you know, webbing, nylon webbing, and a clip at one end. Um, this is for anchoring off of um, you know, posts and bars and, and, and things you'll find at the playground or you know, fence posts or uh, things you find to anchor off of. So we're not going to get into this immediately. We're going to first, we're going to cover the doorway anchor. It looks like this. There's a big thick thing, which prevents it from sliding through your door and a loop at the one end. The doorway anchor. You need a door that pulls shut. If your door pulls open, don't use it because you're not, it's not going to be strong enough. With the door pulling shut, you're distributing the weight through the whole door frame. With a door that pulls open, you're going to be pulling on it, and the only thing that's actually supporting you is the latch of the door. Not good. So, the door pulls shut into the whole door frame. We want to use it like that. Throw the door anchor over the top, pull it shut, make sure it's latched, and give it a good tug. Because um, if you didn't put it close enough, it might slide until the, the anchor catches. Now you're ready to take your clip and clip it in. And then you're ready to do some TRX stuff. Um, now there are some more basics to interacting with the TRX, so we're going to go over them right now. Lengthening and shortening the straps. Now the TRX has two straps. They both have a tab and a buckle. That's the whole lengthening and shortening mechanism. Um, this buckle, if you held it like this, works on the same principle as a backpack strap. Backpack. Now, if you've ever worn a backpack, you might be familiar with this. My straps are a little loose. I want them tighter. You grab the, the pull straps, you pull. And now it's tight and it's not getting looser until I grab the little tab end of the buckle, pull, and just because it's tilted, the friction eases, now it can slide looser. I know this is all in black, harder to see, but um, you know, you, if you've worn a backpack before, you get it, right? So, with a TRX, it's the same idea. If I want to lengthen the strap, there's a little kind of tab and this one even says pull. I grab the buckle, I tilt it, and pull. 
and my strap just got longer. Now, same thing with the backpack. If I, I don't have to even tilt it to make this work, I can be held onto the handle. I, my, my strap is too long. Just pull the, the pull tab and it's shorter. Now this is as long as, this is as short as I can get just pulling the tab. If I want to get extra short, I can grab and double it up, get this kind of loop hanging off. So that's extra shortened. Grab on, pull, I'm back to the same length. Now, when you adjust the lengths of the TRX, you don't have to get out your ruler and make sure they're millimeter matched because the locking loop here is this ingenious feature that the TRX has where you can kind of eyeball it, all right? I've got my straps, I've just lengthened or shortened them. Are they exactly the same? Who cares? Because I have like six inches of play where I can, okay, feel it out. Now I'm even, I'm ready to do something. All right, now when you um, are ready to do something with the TRX, so you've got it set up, it's hanging. Whenever you're ready to start with the TRX, approach it facing the anchor point, grab the handles, and then do your stuff. You can, if you want to start with an exercise facing away, great, flip around. You want to start facing the anchor point, great, you're already there. What I don't want to see you do, and I'm watching, what I don't want to see you do is walk up to a TRX and start doing one of these. It's just, this is a poetic, elegant, beautiful piece of equipment, and it doesn't need you doing all this awkwardness with it. Just walk up, grab on, flip in, flip out. That's how you do it. Now, if you are ready to move from indoors, your, your, your basic doorway anchor, or perhaps you've installed a heavy duty pull-up bar, or even actually when I first started with this, I had a door in my favorite room to work out and the door opened in. So I didn't want to use that door anchor. I had one of those pull-up bars that uh, kind of just kind of hangs on the door frame, is fixed there by its own pressure. So I use that with the strap. You throw the strap over your bar. And this strap has a lot of locking sections. Each one of these is an individually sewn kind of pocket. So you can kind of determine the length you want up to from here to here is how long I could make it. Now if I want to make it shorter, boom, throw it over a couple times, wrap it around. And once I get it, I clip through and boom, there it is. Can you see that? Let's bring it closer. Let's do that again. All right, so I've got my heavy duty pull up bar. Perhaps you found a, a jungle gym somewhere, a swing set, a tree branch. You can even use a vertical post to wrap around. Most of the time, um, as long as you have some kind of horizontal pressure on the strap, it's going to hold. Um, it, you know, might slide down on you if you let go. That's for you to figure out. Now, we've got our bar. I throw it over. I could hook off here. Yeah. But then my strap is still down like chin level. And my, my, it's a little too low for, for, you know, the way I usually like it. But if my bar was really high, I could get as high as this, hook off into that pocket, and now the strap is even longer. To shorten it, you just throw it over a few more times. I like to alternate sides. Um, so like if I'm wrapping it around, I'll go on the right, and then on the left, and then on the right again. And I'm getting pretty short, so I will clip through and just like your doorway anchor, the last loop is for clipping the TRX off into. Ready to go. Now you can hook off of many things out in the world. Um, make sure they're sturdy. That's my only advice. Uh, you don't want to be falling down. 
That is the very basics of the TRX. Now there are, okay, so these are the very basics of getting started with the TRX. There are um, hundreds, if not thousands of uh, activities and exercises you can do using the TRX. I'm not getting into any of those here, not doing it. You've got it hung, you're ready to either figure it out or watch some more videos. Hit like and subscribe and I'll show you some more. Have a good one. Till then, Patrick, Trick on Fitness.